Uh, it was a great year last year. Um, it was a long season. A um, few of the horses were resting and Faltic did an amazing job keeping me up. But we, uh, we planned a good end of the year, relaxed, rest, rested a lot of the horses for the beginning of the year. And then unfortunately I had a small injury. One of those unfortunate things, a horse jumped the shadow before the jump in a, just in a small class. Um, rolled down and uh, just fell awkwardly. The horse was okay, but um, I had fractured. I broke my shoulder in two places here and uh, dislocated and come out the back. So it um, was difficult times there for a minute. Had a long, a long surgery immediately with a lot of screws and plates in here. And um, here we are, three and a half months um, back, jumping the Grand Prix and we're a long way from normal, but uh, I have great horses and a good team keeping me fit. And um, yeah, very, very happy to be back doing it. I believe there are nine stages to go. With a busy schedule for the rest of the year, is it possible to, to challenge to, to retain the title? Or realistically, with time lost, is that something that you aren't keeping an eye on yet? Or um, I think I have to do, at this stage, I have to do what the capabilities are, what my body's going to allow me to do a little bit. Um, it's not really my shoulder, it's obviously compensation for the, the rest of my body now. Um, I'm sort of faking my way through a little bit. Mm. Um, horses feel fit. I don't say it's out of the question to compete for the title, but it, it will for sure. I've made my life difficult, that's for sure. Never more than a fence down, 50% clear out of the eight Grand Prix that you jumped. Were you expecting that kind of a performance from what then I think was still, what, a, a nine-year-old last year? So how quickly has has Feltic developed and, and how, how proud are you of, of what he's been doing? Yeah, he, he came along at the right time last year. I had a couple of horses that needed to take a break. Um, the strength of my team was a little bit down, so we had to push him to the front very quickly, very new to the circuit, new to the, this kind of level of competition. Perhaps by the end of the circuit, he was uh, a little overjumped um, in the sense that he did a lot of rounds, team and Grand Prix. Um, and I felt that he deserved a win. He was very, very close a bunch of times, um, but he's had a well-earned rest now, uh, both what he deserved and now because of my injury. So he's came, coming back fresh and uh, he has a very strong support team now. So hopefully we should see some good things for him this year and um, the rest of the, the team of horses can help pinpoint him to, to where his strengths are. Is he going to be your leading man for 2023, you feel? Um, I think on the Global Tour, I will use him predominantly more for the Global Tour. Mm. I do have Explosion, Dallas Vegas, uh, Ginger Blue will make a, an appearance in Paris. So uh, very lucky to have a very strong team of horses, but we, uh, we have a long-term plan. But right now we take one week at a time.